Yo, yo, what's up guys, what's going on? So in this video, we're gonna talk about how to do research with Helium 10. Um, Helium 10, product research, research, keyword research, all that fun stuff. Like, it's like, it's all like, I so see you do keyword research and you find new products, like what new, new, new uh, design ideas for merch by Amazon, okay? So it's like, here, there, 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 I think, this all is like keyword research and product research is pretty much the same thing when it comes to well in merch by amazon it's more about like niche research right so what are you trying to figure out like what what uh what design you can put on a shirt that's gonna sell right or a product or whatever you plan on putting your design on okay in in in, in the shirt world or in the in the print on demand world if you want to say so um let's get to the computer and i'm going to break it down and i'm going to use one of my favorite tools inside of helium 10 and break it down for you guys let's get into the computer <laughs> All right, guys. Yo, what's going on? So we're in the back end of uh, he Helium 10, right? I'm already signed in and all that good stuff. And then come down over here to the left-hand side, and then you come over here and click Celebro, right? Uh, reverse Ace and look up. You click that, and it's going to bring you to the screen that I was already at. And in this example, I want to show you guys, let's say you have a, a shirt that's crushing it already, okay? Or... Um, you have a shirt that's doing really well and you wanna see what keywords it's ranking for, okay? This is gonna give you a better idea of that niche, right? It's gonna give you a better idea of that niche and, and basically what you wanna do is make sure you have these keywords in your title because it's gonna make help you rank better, okay? Now, this is a big, big thing right here because it's going to increase sales, right? And it's going to do a lot right here and a lot of people don't understand this and you're gonna see what keywords you're ranking for okay it's gonna give you it's gonna show you the data it's gonna give you a better understanding these are like the data is like the facts okay when it comes to like the algorithm and stuff like that you want to see what people are searching for your keyword and all that fun stuff like it's very important that you guys understand that because most people don't know that and they think they think they know but they don't know and this right here is kind of helping you understand it and it kind of like it's kind of proven to you like it's showing the data so it's like proving it to you like okay this is what you're ranking for and this is why you're you're right. you're you're basically you're listing your shirt design or whatever product your hoodie your pullover whatever it is and it's going to show you exactly what keywords you're ranking for and it's going to give you ideas for other um like other design like other designs and other niches because you're like oh dang like people are buying it using this keyword search or using this long tail keyword and this right here is the money maker guys this is gonna make you lots and lots of money <laughs> so i want you guys to understand that and kind of get a better understanding of exactly what i'm talking about so for example right now we're going to go into the 100 100 days of school okay um incognito mode right over here this this 100 days of school shirt okay and now you guys know that you guys know um this right here is really popular it's it's crushing it right now um you can see uh kind of you know another thing too you guys want to understand the niches that you guys are jumping into because it's very important um that you guys get a better like a better overview of everything and you can just see like like let's that's that's the amazon choice badge right here okay let's this t-rex let's check this out right here and what we're going to do is you can see all these other designs right here and all this stuff. What we're going to do is basically come in here and get the ASIN right here. Boom, boom. And then we're going to copy that bad boy. Okay. Um, one of the most important things, guys, I'm going to tell you again, is just you might make sure you understand the niche before you dive in here and uh, get a better understanding so you can make a awesome design and make sales and crush it. So um, let's go back over to Celebro. And then we're going to put the paste it in, get keywords. Okay. And basically what this is doing is pretty much, you know what I mean? Getting all the keywords and doing all the, all the, all the good stuff. Okay. And this is exactly what we search for. You guys can see right here. All right. And you can see in the back end, it's going to give you some stats. This is very important guys. Okay. Let's kind of go, come back up here. It's giving you a lot of stats up here. It's telling you it's frequently bought together with these shirts. Okay. So it's telling you here here and here so basically the customer bought this shirt and this shirt and this shirt and this shirt so we know 
that this is a this is a good seller this is a good seller and you can see by looking at the bsr rankings right this is a good seller like people are buying these right they have reviews or ratings whatever you want to call it so 114 you can say this is the be the best one the 33 kbsr and this one's uh it's selling consistently right um as you can see right selling consistently and this one right here is crushing it let's check out that well it don't pop up all the time so yeah so obviously yeah sometimes it's a little weird the algorithm of amazon is we are definitely weird um yeah see it's not popping up but yeah so that right there is big guys because they can literally come in here and search one asin right and i just want to bring like kind of bring this more to your attention guys because coming here on one asin you can you can, with one asin you can see that these are frequently bought together so obviously these are new niches this is kind of gives you ideas to kind of you, you come in here and you see this and you're like wow okay cool this is killing it over here like why not come in these niches and make an awesome design and make some sales and crush it too as well um you can see the word frequency all right over here okay a uh, number of times a keyword appears al alone or as a part of a phrase in a search search results okay and you can do all these little back end search volumes the row score and organic rank um and all that cute stuff okay there's a lot of stuff you can here filter by okay there's advanced filters and stuff like that okay and then also too so now we'll come down here to the fun stuff <clears throat> and it gives you all the, the score based score based on the ratio of estimated search volume versus number of competing products okay so you kind of you come hover, hover over all this and it gives you a better understanding of what's going on and gives you you can uh basically just yeah so it gives you all the information all the data and stuff right here and check out our search volume for this is uh for the monthly okay sponsored asins okay you can see how many people are showing ads for this keyword um sometimes i see this a little bit off sometimes you want to pay attention to that and i'm gonna show you how to click through and kind of just like see what's going on over there competing products okay total number of products returned in a customer total number of products returned in a in a customer search using this keyword phrase okay now, now this is really don't apply to us <laughs> and um and yeah so just kind of keep on going and breaks it down everything blah 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 and you can see if this person is running uh, AMS because it will see sponsored rank and it'll kind of show you if this person is running AMS right here. Okay. Recommended rank is showing you that right there. Now the, now the fun part right here, this is the most exciting part that I got through all of this stuff. The most exciting part is the organic rate because this is really cool. Because obviously what do we do to search to find this product right here? We searched 100 days of, of school shirt sure, and it was ranking number one, right? So let's go back over here and Let's go over here, right? And that's what we search, right? 100 days of school shirt, number one. Now let's go back over here to Celebro. Now it's ranking without the S, right? So we can just click right here and boom, it's gonna take us over there. Let's see if it's true. Boom, it is. So you can see it's number one right over here, okay? Look at that, that BSR is crushing it. It's kicking butt, you know what I mean? So um, it that right there is just, it's 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 really cool so to see some a bsr that low it's doing some numbers baby it's doing some numbers <laughs> and then basically what i want to point out to you guys too that here's these long tail keywords okay these are the money makers this is what this is what helps you rank you know so and this right here is going to help you rank and you're going to kind of give you a better understanding of what people are searching for to find your product so usually like within the top 20 top 10 because you kind of keep in mind like if you're Usually the customer don't go past that first page, okay? You got to understand that. Usually the customer don't go past the first page because the reason being is like they're lazy and they just want to get their product. And if you serve them the right product uh, and it keeps converting, you're going to rank better in the algorithm. So, and yeah, that's another thing. They don't want to go past that second page. You know what I mean? So the closer you are to the first page uh, with the organic uh, the organic rank, so closer you are to number one, basically. Let's use that for an example. The better your conversion is. And most likely that's the, what the customer is searching for. Okay, let's repeat that again. So if it's closer to number one, the closer it is to number one, most likely that's how the customer is searching to find your product. Okay, got it, got it. Okay, hopefully that makes sense because usually, so if it's so if it's closer to number one, the chances of your sales coming in, the most likely the customer is using that search term to find your product and buy, purchase it. That's a good thing. That's a good, really, really good thing. So like, for example, look at this on 100 days of school shirt boys, okay? And what did, oh, what did it say? Number four. Eh. Uh, number four. Okay. 
number four. It's number five. It's close, right? It, maybe it was number four at one time, and then it went over here. So see that right there? Kind of the results are, are not pretty accurate, but for the most part, they're they're pretty accurate. And you can see, let's go back over here to, uh, you said, okay, back over here to incognito mode, right? Over here. And they have boys in their title. So 100 day, 100, 100th, they have a 100th, or 100th day of school, 100th day of school boys. So they have it in the title. You can kind of see what I'm talking about too as well. Like the title and the brand, it seemed to be like it, the title is a big part of the listing when it comes to Amazon. So for example, it's like 90% of the listing. So if you have it over here, and I've told you guys this before, you have it over here in the in the bullet points, you're making Amazon work more. You want to put it up here. And the reason being, if you put it up here, it's going to increase the search volume. Okay. It's holds a, a, the title holds a big, big, big chunk of your listing, the, the weight of it. And it makes it easier for the algorithm to, to find the product instead of look coming over here and grab it in the bullet points because, and I repeated, I repeated this in the last video. It's like, because it's going to take it longer. You're making the algorithm work and you do not want to make the algorithm work. If you make the algorithm work, the harder for it to generate that first sell. Now, if you have it in the title, you're going to generate that first sell, get that ranking and then boom, you know what I mean? You crush it, you crush it. You get the, you get that one shirt that starts, you know what I mean? Getting below 10 K BSR. Next thing you know, your one shirt's making you a thousand dollars in royalties a month, you know? So, and then next thing you, you repeat that process, you repeat it with second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, you know what I mean? You repeat it with the same shirt over and over and over and over. And then boom, you start crushing it, making sales and making that money, baby. You know what I mean? Because in all honesty, we're all here and we're all here to make some money. Uh, and when it comes to merch by Amazon or whatever print on print, print on demand platform you're on. Okay. So very important that you understand that. And uh, so let's go back over here to Salib Helium 10. Okay. So this right here is basically like all the long tail phrases and the keywords and stuff like that. Um, and this also too is going to help you with the AMS and stuff. Okay. Kind of give you a better idea of what you're ranking for. Now for the example right here, like he's ranking so well, or this person is ranking so well that they're not running no AMS over here. And let's see. And the only one way to find out, you can just do this little bad boy, press up and it'll tell you. Okay. They're, they're, I think they're running some, let's see, but they're not running it to the right. Where's it at? No, it's not popping up. Hmm. No. Let's see. Can find it. This looks like they're running something. They probably have it like at a low, uh, low bid, so it's not popping up. But and it seems like they're running something, but they're not converting for those keywords. So you can see because the organic rank, they're not even ranking on that front page. And you can see right here too as well. Okay. Um, yeah, there's 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 a lot right here that you guys can do, and you can see how like how beneficial this tool is using helium 10 in the back end using Salibro. it's actually one of my favorite things to use because there's a few times where i come in here and check out like i'll check out a product and i'll search for it and i'm just like dude i can't where that how come my 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 uh where's all these cells okay sorry all these cells are coming in but where the heck where the heck is my how is it ranking so well and how is it killing it and then i come in here and i search for it and i'm just like Dude, okay, that's the long tail keyword that I'm ranking for. And I never knew that until I started using this tool. Okay, it's kind of, because that way, because you think that you're ranking for something else and you search and you can't find it, but you have a really good BSR and you're crushing it. So you don't know what, how you're ranking for it. And then you got to search, use all these key terms or all these long tail phrases to search for your product. And then you end up finding it after 10, 20 tries. But then with this tool, you can plug in the ASIN and it kind of like, re, like, it kind of like shows you what you're ranking for. And it uh, gives you a better idea and kind of makes you give you a better understanding of the niches by showing these long tail keywords on the left hand side and kind of shows, OK, who is buying this shirt? And you know, obviously you can see that it's targeted for boys by looking at this long tail keyword. That's pretty much close to number one. Right. So you can see that hundreds, hundred day of hundred days of school shirt boys is a really good target keyword. And you can see that girls is a really good target audience, too. And then kids. Okay. So, and then women, you can so on and so forth. So I just want to give you guys a better understanding of this. Hopefully this guys, hopefully this helped. Um, I know it's, this is a really helpful tool. Like hopefully this helped you guys and get a bit better understanding of it. And if you guys have any questions, please comment down below, like, and subscribe. And then also too, one more thing, one more thing, one more thing. 
If you guys haven't uh, seen uh, Pixel Pod Studio, I'm going to have that down below in the description as well. Go ahead and check that out. It's um, it's related to KDP. Um, it's a uh, it's a premium interior subscription service that I've been doing, and um, you guys can check that out down below in the description. Go ahead and click on it, check it out. Definitely the best interiors out there, guys. And um, if you guys have any questions, like I said, comment down below. Peace out.